Hey everyone, it's Stephanie. I'm excited to share a little bedroom makeover with you guys today. This is our primary bedroom and it's one of the rooms in the house that I've kind of been neglecting. So I'm really excited to give it a little facelift with just a few easy projects. In this video, I will be replacing some furniture, adding picture frame molding to the walls, replacing the ceiling fan, and painting the entire room. If you are new to my channel, we have a very small primary bedroom and bathroom. When we moved in, the bathroom only had a toilet and a vanity, so my dad and I renovated the entire bathroom, took space from the walk-in closet, and then added a shower. Since we used the closet for the bathroom, I built this wardrobe system using IKEA products. I'll link the bathroom reno and closet DIY videos in the description below if you want to check them out. The layout of this room is a bit challenging to work with but not impossible, let's go through the transformation. One of the main pieces of furniture I was eager to replace was our bed. We didn't have a headboard before so this padded headboard from Castlery is a major upgrade. Castlery gifted us some amazing pieces for our home including this bed which is the Lexi tufted bed in frost white. The headboard has a really nice curve to it, which is perfect for leaning back when you want to read a book in bed. This piece alone really elevated our bedroom. If you haven't heard of Castlery, Castlery is a modern furniture company that creates a story for every room in your home. They craft furniture that is timeless using the highest quality raw materials to create pieces that are built for longevity and multi-purpose use. Another thing that I love about Castlery is their pricing. They're a direct-to-consumer brand without middlemen, so they're able to extend honest pricing and affordability to their customers. I'm going to take you around quick and show you a few more beautiful pieces that we got from Castlery. In our living room, we have the Dawson three-seater sofa on the left and the matching Dawson ottoman in the middle. Then we have the Madison leather three-seater sofa. I was originally going to put the this in my home office but I'm loving the way it looks in our living room. If you're unsure about a color or texture, Castlery offers free fabric swatches. They also offer flat rate shipping, a 14 day return policy, and warranty coverage. This sofa is from the Dawson collection. I love every piece of furniture from this collection. Each piece delivers a sense of coziness to your space, creating a warm and inviting ambience that welcomes you home every day. With this sofa, the cushions and cushion covers are removable, which makes cleaning super easy. The leather sofa is from the Madison collection. This collection definitely gives more of a mid-century modern vibe. There's a matching leather armchair with this collection that I've been eyeing and I think I might have to cave after seeing how great this works in our space. In our guest bedroom, we have the Adams bed in ivory beige with these beautiful brass legs. Castlery believes that there is value in taking the time to curate your home with intention and they want to help you create spaces that make you feel good, building intimate connections between you and your space and the people you bring into it. From mid-century modern to contemporary, their design language is intentionally universal so you're bound to find something that fits your personal style. You can find the links to these products in the description below. Thanks again, Castlery, for helping me create spaces where I feel happy, comfortable, and myself. The biggest project to tackle in this room is the picture frame molding. You may have noticed the same picture frame molding in our living room. I'm going to be using the same trim pieces, but instead of two boxes on top of each other, I'm just doing one tall box. You can lay out the patterns however you want and however it makes sense in your space. I made sure that there was a six inch gap all the way around each box. So I started by measuring six inches down from my ceiling and making a level line. A laser level would come in handy for this project. I measured six inches from my door and six inches from my floor trim to get each of my box measurements. 
I mitered each of the corners at a 45 degree angle and I'm attaching the trim to my walls using wood glue and one and a half inch brad nails. I will try to link some of these tools in the description below. For this box in the corner, I had to cut each of the trim pieces at a 45 degree angle where they meet up in the corner. Next up, I'm replacing our ceiling fan. Our old ceiling fan made too much noise and it was pretty bulky. I picked up this more modern ceiling fan from Home Depot. I believe it was $125. If you're not comfortable with electrical work, you may want to hire an electrician. We followed the instructions closely and we were able to replace it ourselves. Now I'm going around and filling all the small nail holes with wood filler. I also used wood filler to fill any gaps in each of the corners. Mm -hmm. 
I'm using paintable caulk to caulk around the inside and outside of the trim. This helps to create a clean and seamless look. Last but not least is paint. I'm using leftover paint from our kitchen and living room, which is Chantilly Lace by Benjamin Moore, and it's in an eggshell finish. This is a great white if you don't want any blue or yellow undertones. I ended up painting over the wardrobe with Natural Cream by Benjamin Moore. The closet was a bit too gray, and I'm trying to stay away from the gray tones and stick to more of the creamy beige tones. A few final touches and this bedroom will be finished. I plan to put some wedding pictures in these frames. I got these from Home Goods in a three pack for $30. The nightstands are from Target. We don't have a lot of room to work with on either side of the bed, so these small accent tables worked perfectly. Once again, this is the Lexi Tufted Bed from Castlery. I'm in love with it. Don't forget to check out their website next time you're looking for home furniture. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's crazy how a few easy projects and some paint can totally transform a space. I hope this gave you a few ideas for your next bedroom makeover. I'll see you in the next video.